think the first map will be on ruins between these two juggernauts. Razy versus Sparty. We're going to see who's going to get the upper hand from the get-go. Because we're very excited with the first series of the day here for we. Let's go. Kicking it off on Sparty. He's got the outer courtyard spawn, making his way to the armor shard to nail to grab rockets. Pretty standard start here. Being a little bit liberal, though, on this mega pickup, so there's going to be quite the delay, but Razy just right on point has the rail lined up. What a shot right off the bat. And Sparty still leaving it up, dropping down, and now he's in a weird position. If Razy suspects anything, Sparty gives up the map just like that, and this is just dangerous now, I'd say. At least Sparty's keeping his distance. It's so, so important against the clutch, and he's got the map pick for it. Oh, see you later, Razy. Oh First kill of the day, and he's going straight out the map. What? How unlucky is that for Razy here? Just going straight off on the get-go. The best start that Sparty could have, not only knocking it out of the park literally, but also Razy blew the shield, and Sparty has to play a little more aggressive, I would imagine, off of that, because he has to know that the shield's gone. Now Sparty, huge stack to his name. Does get caught off guard with the rocket, but it does a little bit of damage to himself. Good rocket to rail combo, second frag already within that minute mark. And already putting a lot of pressure on Razor here. This is like, like you said before, it's a dream start for uh, for Sparty now. As he's going to go towards the courtyard to pick up the light. And we'll see what happens and see how Razor can come back here. Yeah, chat already in shambles right now. Molding as uh, the Poggers starting off this one lethal 2-0 sparty in the lead 130 up but Razy has the shield has the clutch has positioning on this mega and sparty is going to concede almost immediately knowing that it's really really not worth risking absolutely not no it's sparty just taking his time it still has the inject as Razy now still looking to trap sparty into a corner but this is good though sparty always leaving himself Plenty of options to get away if need be. Good rocket, 77 from that. It's going to keep Razy at bay. Not enough for him to Sparty not to push, though, but that rail is definitely going to do wonders for Sparty. But what is Razy going to do here? Another rail for Sparty. One more will do it. But no, oh. Razy comes straight in. Managed to get his first frag on the board. And Sparty's looking to continue the aggression. Not before Razy gets the mega. One more rail will do it. He's only left on 6 HP. And Sparty cleans up Razy beautifully stuff. So beautiful stuff there from him. Was going to go for the heavy, decides to back away just in case Razy goes for it on spawn, rightly so. But Sparty, very impressive from him, from what we've seen in the first few minutes. Ooh, and Sparty trying to get whatever damage he can is just the timing was just a little bit off. Razy and Sparty collide at the heavy. The tribal collides with Razy, but Sparty still has a one frag lead. Unfortunately for him, the shield's going to be up, and the mega is in Razy's pocket. So big old stacked clutch up the jump pad goes Sparty, and at the last second, hears those gears grinding and gets the hell out of there. So he does indeed. Sparty now playing peekaboo with the rail to try and back away from Razy, but I think he's caught in a bad place at a bad time. Uses the inject, but... Just delaying the inevitable as Razy does finish things up and tie the scoreline free or as Sparty picks up the heavy. There's a little bit of MG damage, still trying to keep him away, but Razy's got the weapons in his arsenal to finish this off. Good stuff from Razy. Razy uh, a little bit sketchy on the LG tracking there. It is hard to follow that anarchy, but Sparty should probably take a note of that no okay if i get the shield down i have an opportunity heavy machine gun lg on lg that's probably his best bet so far as razy's done really well after the first you know initial encounter that went horribly wrong to use that shield close the gap and get the frags that he needs oh some good rockets early from razy but it's trapped him into that courtyard still though sparty somehow alive is he going to get away from this it's a possibility if he continues to go up that staircase but Ooh. no he will not another beautiful rail there from razy is now he's going to be Pushing up into the courtyard again, going towards that mega, and already Sparty's sitting there just daring Razy to come for it. But as you would well know, he's going to back away, try and contest this heavy up any second now, and he's going to find out what Sparty's up to as he's taken another rail. I really like that play from Sparty earlier of not diving immediately on the mega, but instead, you know, tempting Razy for if you want to have a battle right now, I'm going to have a mid fight pickup to heal me back up. So forcing Razy off the mega, making sure that he's playing as smart as he can. He is down two, but still an OK start from Sparty. Not as explosive as right at the beginning as Razy is getting more and more map control and staying real thick with that clutch. Now the shield again, here comes the plus four, and the heavy actually gets taken as well, but Sparty doing a good job, almost takes down Razy. 
has the ability to push off the spawn now as Razy does have the shield down. And this has to be where Sparty attacks, but catching the clutch can be extremely difficult. Again, the mobility is pretty big. That rail just clipping the wall. Razy just waiting patiently for this mega, hoping Sparty is not found around here. And Sparty will not aggress in time. Does hit a good rail as it Razy doubles back. Make that two. And this is where Sparty can be so strong. Yeah, he literally needs to hit all his rails in order to keep Razy away from counteracting in any way, shape or form. Razy now just dilly dallying about near that telly to see exactly where he's going to go so he can catch him if need be. But he's only on 80 HP. One rail is going to do him in. And now he's going to choose his time wisely to push on up into the courtyard to pick up that light. So playing this very cautiously, very methodically as well, just to really rely on his audio cues. Quite similar to how bass plays on uh, numerous occasions. That would have been a good rail, but again, important rail for Sparty. But you can remember, for Sparty, he needs to hit all of them in order to keep Razy away from any kind of position, or well, positional advantage to get these items. And more so, four minutes left, down three. He's got to be able to push in, force out the shield while somehow keeping item control because Razy could just play this game of I'm going to dash quite literally away for four minutes if I need to. So a little bit of tribal that's going to give away Razy's positioning. Sparty has a good opportunity here to at least force out the shield depending on how the fight goes. There's a good catch with the LG. There's the shield pop. And now this has to be a frag and it is. Good conversion and a clean conversion from Sparty. And he knows that the heavy's up. So this is a very, very big way back into this one for Sparty. Yeah, it took a fair amount of time there for Sparty to get that next frag. But his patience paid off as now he has picked up the Mega Delight. Will be picked up from Sparty, but which way is he going to go and how is he going to go about things? As Razy is still in that courtyard area, as Sparty's just messing with the audio cues for Razy to keep him guessing where we could be. He's going to know he's down in that heavy area. But is Razy going to drop down? Yes, he does. Picks up the... The heavy and spite has got to figure out how he wants to go about this in order to not only Ooh, counter rail. the mega but yeah he's now going to try and flank around and see if he can catch Razy but decides to back away and prioritize the mega rightly so because now Razy is going to continue on the back foot still has a few minutes left to play oh and i thought he saw him by the last second Razy gets away it's going to be unfortunate it does have the shield up so sparty again has to be wary but does have to put on a little bit more aggression. He's doing a good job of running the items. Is he going to be able to get this heavy for free? And yes, Razy, you can almost tell he's uh, taking his foot off the gas, so to speak, <laughs> as it were, Lethal. And he's playing maybe a little bit too defensive, although he does have positioning on the Mega here, so a bit of a flub from Sparty, but this could be where he forces out the shield, and there's the commitment and the shield. Decent damage from Sparty. All in all, as he doesn't take a lot of damage, and he still has inject. So there is the inject for the speed. This should be a frag with the chase down. So the real day is going to continue chasing on good stuff there from Sparty. Sparty knows he's got the speed, even though Razor's got the mobility to try and get away. But we better catch him in. He should be able to. He's only on 43 HP. One rail will be able to do it. This is it as he picked up the heavy. So he wasn't available anymore, but is available again. Sparty needs to keep his distance for now. As you can see, Sparty only one frag behind. And as we said, I know Razor picked up the Mega. That was so, so important for him. Really bad for Sparty. Looking to see if he can try and clean up. And Razor... Picks him apart with the rail. He's still on 100 HP though. Can go for this if he wants to and clean him up with the, with the shoddy. Won't be able to sadly for him. Still two seconds for heavy respawns. I think Sparty was just trying to take him down before he picked up. So it's gone from bad to worse now for Sparty with a minute 20 left remaining. Yeah, the rail's becoming more and more critical and Sparty just not hitting him under, under pressure. Down two now. And he's got to play this last minute 15 perfectly. He does pick up on the Mega, but the shield is back up for Razy and that could be the deciding factor. Uh, regardless of the aggression that comes out from Sparty, which has to happen fast. One minute to get two frags against a clutch who already spawns in with a pretty big stack. This is not looking good. Good rail from Razy to keep him low. And the pickup is here. The chase has to be on, Lethal. It certainly does indeed. He can definitely do it. Or at least tie things up before it's sudden death. The Sparty knows his whereabouts. It's a matter of which way Razy's going to go afterwards. But Clutch is pretty loud, sir, uh, for we. So we have to see what he can do in order to get himself around the map and do a little bit of ring around the Rosie once again. But this is literally the perfect place for we, as you well know. You know, on that jump pad or going up the staircase, even though it's common positions, it's one of the best positions to hold in order to try and get away from your opponent. Sparty's still going there and knows that time is running out, even though he's got such a huge stack. As Rosie's just backing away towards the courtyard, down to the heavy jump pad. 
And how is he going to go about it? It's just sticking on that jump pad. Ten seconds left. Not going to happen as Razy will win the first map of the series. But you got to remember, Sparty put up a damn good fight. Yeah, I mean, not a terrible showing. I think just at the end there, a little more aggression needed to come out from Sparty. Just uh, guessing wrong. I mean, that's not really his fault. So, uh, unfortunate after a, a really the perfect opportunity of a start on that map. But Razy comes back and says, I'm Razy and I'm clutch. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, in terms of setting the tone, I think it's going to be a good series. I think that's uh, good for Sparty in terms of morale, knowing that, you know, he didn't get blown out like some people do running up against Razy's clutch, but uh, just fallen a little short, which is unfortunate. Yeah, Isaac Control does go in the favor of Sparty, but you can see Razy pretty much let him have it as he was playing for time during the last few minutes of the game. And even then, though, literally did the difference in damage to the map presence. Only 27 between the two, and Sparty hit 38% rail. Normally, you see a little bit more in terms of percentage, but it doesn't matter anyway, as now it's all been said and done. We will go into the second map very shortly between these two. But again, Sparty, I don't think he's playing bad. I still think he's playing very, very well. Just can't close out the map. He has such a good start, a dream start, many people would say. Yeah, I, again, like Shades of Toxic, right? Where, yeah. you know, starts off really uh, really strong, has the lead, and then slowly over time, just in the last two, three minutes, just can't finish. And uh, it's disheartening to see. Sparty definitely has the ability to take that one, but just falls short as we take a look at the stats. Eight to five will be the final score on Runes of Sarnath, map number one in this set. But again, overall, I feel like, you know, silver linings, right? I, I, you didn't get blown out going up against Razy in his clutch. That should be a big confidence boost going into map number two. It is going to be a little bit different. There's going to be a deep embrace lethal. Strog versus Keel. Razy has the Keel. Sparty on the Strog. So a little bit more of the same in terms of, you know, out, getting out stacked right off the spawn. So Sparty does have to keep that in mind and play a little more careful. But we've seen that he has the ability to chain together the rails, and that could be the difference if he can, again, get those rails going and play a little bit smarter, keep focus on items like we saw in Ruins there. I think he's got the ability to maybe take this one. Yeah, I don't see why not. I think the way Sparty played in that last map was perfectly fine against the clutch. You know, kept your distance, choose your executions wisely, you know, like don't rush into things overextend because we see that with a lot of players against Racy's clutch. But again, Sparty played that well. It's just towards the end, it was very tough, very difficult. He's been put in a lot of bad spots, which he didn't want to put himself in due to the time limit, and he had to force himself into a bad situation on a number of occasions. It's one of those things. We've seen it plenty of times. The only thing I can say for Sparty, but that was his map pick. We are going to go to Deep and Brace, like you already mentioned, 40. And this is going to be Razy's pick. And don't get me wrong, you know, at least Crop to keep us in there, etc., etc. But what we're going to see from Razy this time around, it's uh, very exciting. I think he's playing the kill, if I remember, against the Strog. Yep. Kill versus Strog, indeed, as the predictions are raining in. And Sparty's up to 13%. So uh, a lot of people love the display they saw, Lethal. More faith being... Uh... Uh, I guess instilled in the chat as more people willing to predict a little more points on Sparty, but we'll see. We'll see who has the final word here on Deep Embrace. Is Razy just going to take this set 2-0 right off the bat? Or are we going to see a third map as a decider? We are live right now on Deep Embrace on Razy. Razy. Or, excuse me, this should be Sparty. <laughs> Unless I'm crazy, <laughs> which I've been known to be crazy, but it's okay. You know, sometimes you uh, you just look like another player. Sometimes it happens. It's fine. I'm also crazy, so don't worry about it. You know, we will have a... I'm crazy about you. <laughs> I'm also crazy about Quake. And these rails are crazy. And Razy actually takes out the shotgun to take down Sparty in the initial scuffle for Deep Embrace. And Sparty hits him with the... Okay. Right. So, interesting start from the two... Two players is Razy, good rail from him, keeping his party away. But the second rail is just going to make matters even worse here. Razy didn't really barely take any damage, full stack right up to the eyeballs, and now he's got that top mid control to make matters worse for Sparty as that mega is going to be up very shortly in the next few seconds. Razy just looking to get all the weapons in his arsenal again, which he has managed to grab. Good try bolt just to keep him away from that Mega. Sparta will be able to get it momentarily, but not without taking a huge amount of damage in the process. As he had a good rail, good pineapple as well, and a good pineapple again. Looking very solid, but Razi is going to back away just to reheal slightly. Still had a good lead. Doesn't want to give it away so soon. And already now, Sparty has got the slight upper hand in this matchup. As I say that, absorbs a rail as Razi manages to get away and get that Tommy control once again. 
I do really like the patience from Sparty to play on that Mega that way and kind of not only bait Razy in, but, you know, take damage and be able to fall back on that item while dealing damage. So now Razy's in a bad way. Sparty has full map control, should be able to get in on this heavy as well, and then secure this frag in the next 15 to 20 seconds if he plays it right. Good rail there from Razy, though. It's going to make things a little more difficult as Sparty does finally secure the heavy. I'm still quite surprised how much damage Razy took from that PK. You know, missed a couple of rail shots, had to literally use the super surely in order to clean it up. Good rail now again from Razy. Seems to be hitting the harder oh, shots no. more than the easier shots. And yeah, that was just ridiculous. Still looking to back away. He's just realized that Spidey come through the murder hole as he turned away. But looks like he will get away with his life. But for how long? He's still railable. As Razy just being very sneaky on top mid. You know, has to get that health off to stop himself being available. Looking to go for the light, but Sparty can hear him, knows he's going through it as well. Picker comes out, hits it this time round, not taking as much damage as before. Very uncharacteristic compared to before, but Razy's looking a little bit more solid than he was over the last minute. So Razy just hearing out Sparty, knows he's going towards that mega spawn and is going to be waiting for him to maybe go up that jump pad. Missing with that rail opportunity for Sparty here to try and get back in on this heavy again. Keep cycling the items, but Razy doing a really, really good job of even though he's giving up these majors, he's staying alive. Sparty trying to cut off on the armor shard. Good jukes here. A little bit of Allen Iverson breaking ankles, but still cannot find the damage he needs to secure his first frag. And actually, Razy playing this really well, almost hitting a big surprise rocket there as Tribal runs out for Sparty. Weapon choice has to be huge. Here's the peaker, a little bit of damage. Actually, I don't think any as Razy takes it out nicely. Good rails, though. And again, Sparty has to be very wary of the chase. He's not getting the initial damage he needs. Yeah, we need to remember as well that Razy, with that atomic control, he's had like most of all, if not the majority of the positional advantage, even when he's top mid, he's still making sure that he gets that first shot off. And Sparty hasn't really got a clue where he could be on a number of occasions. Anything Sparty can do to counteract that is just to be a lot more cautious when he maybe goes up the jump pad or goes through the telly up to top mid. Just be wary that there's a strong possibility that Razy is going to be there waiting with rockets or maybe trying to back away with the rail. There's a number of things Razy could do here. So it just needs to be a little bit more careful. It's hard to make the assumption that it's going to be top mid, but the majority, sorry, the majority of the time he will be there waiting and ready. Sparty, though, with a huge stack. Four minutes has passed. Sparty can definitely come back from this. There's only two frags behind. Not much concern in a map like Deep Embrace. Good direct from Razy, but nowhere near enough. If Sparty's going to try and stop and go for the rail. Nice little tickle there uh, from Sparty, and a nice rail to support that as well for you. Sparty is just playing so well. He's starting to take away the lights as well. He has full map control again. And uh, just really, really well played, but all that damage from Razy and Sparty's left so incredibly weak in the blink of an eye, nice. but that missed damage up close. Sparty ties at a two, and he's still able to run the map, so a little scary there for Sparty, but he's able to stabilize, and now it's just a matter of making sure you don't take big damage off the spawn. The shotgun almost takes him out. Sparty takes the lead. It's looking very, very good as it goes into the murder hole to pick up the 50 and the 50 again, but he will meet Razy in the process. So Razy... Time things up. Sandy for Sparty. His lead dwindled very quick. It was very short as well. Does a little bit of damage with the rockets. Oh, he literally flanked all the way around. I don't think he expected him to rocket jump there, but even with the peak around, he didn't have enough time. Sparty with the rail of his own. My goodness, this is a ridiculous matchup as Sparty is going straight in with the LG, making sure he cannot pick up this heavy. Good LG from Sparty. Gets the lead. Hopefully, it will be a bit longer than it was previously in the last. Frag, he managed to grab, and is just going to try and keep Razy away from that mecha. Good first round. Will he go for the second? Yes, he does. Almost got dropped down. And still, Razy's taking so much damage whilst picking up that mega. Almost even in terms of stack. And now, Sparty's doing a little bit more damage with the rockets. Done a nice tickle with the LG as well. But so far, so good for Sparty. Yeah, Sparty's playing this about as well as you can, given the stack that Keel has off the spawn here. Doing a good job of doing damage with the Peeker. Does sacrifice position on this heavy, but maybe he can get some damage here. As Razy's pretty weak, the rail won't be able to do it as Razy rains down rockets on his way down, but he's so, so weak. Can Sparty get the refrag? There's a good chance, but that rocket no. is huge. The shotgun, finally, enough. Could have been really bad for Sparty, but again, the Mega's right there. Razy trying to push and get the refrag, and somehow Sparty dodging the Citrus. He was on 1 HP at the time when Razy got away. 1 HP. And speaking of HP, Sparty left on 25, picks up the health bubble from underneath the heavy. 
But Razy's looking to try and get that trade, which rightly so with the starting stack. I'm not surprised he's going to try and finish him off, but no, he does not. As Sparty left on 4 HP, trying to recover as quickly as possible. But the Mega is up in the next couple of seconds. Of course, Sparty knows he will not be able to contest it. Maybe able to, depending on where Razy is positioned. He is positioned across to that LG area. And Sparty's trying to hold top Mega down the the hole to get the two health bubbles. Mega is still up, though. Still quite heavily delayed, but... Now it isn't as segregated as much as the heavy was early on. The spot is now going to try and go for the heavy, but Razy is already there before him, and Razy is the one who cleans him up nicely with DLG. Really, really big kill there from Razy. Sparty was doing a good job of making sure that the trades don't come off right out of the spawn here. Sparty trying to do decent damage. Peeker's not too bad. Good read as well on the drop down. Oh. Razy with the pineapple, though, getting one step closer to tying this one at eight. Big rocket as Razy. Might be able to hold on here. He needs to get away. Is the rocket going to be perfectly placed? Unfortunately not. Razy's so incredibly weak, slowing things down, and Sparty smells blood. <gasps> and there's the rocket in the murder hole. Good read from Sparty. Going back up two. Should be able to get this heavy as both items are up. And it's just a matter of where Sparty wants to go. Trying to see exactly where Razy is. And I think he just spotted him out lethal. Very close. Yeah, I think so. I think so. From the way he was holding that angle, it did look like it. Still can't believe it though. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh okay, God. okay, thought we were fine. We're fine. He, he's clinging to dear life. I think he's alright though. He still needs to try and get away. He left us 69 HP as he was a good rocket to turn Razy away, but he's actually still coming for him. He did to the 75 early one, but look at this. Like, Sparty's getting it out. So many clutch situations. Good return rail after all that damage he tried to take and give at the same time. But not really too much is going to be done with that peak. It's just a funny way he is. Picks up the heavy. And still, though, Sparty is up by two frags. Still has a couple minutes to work with. Dangerous peaker there, but fortunately for Sparty. Does take a big rocket, but gets the heavy. It's more importantly, staying alive. A minute 30 until he can take this one away. He just has to play it as smart as possible. Keep distance and make sure that Razy has to chase through choke points to try and get the frags. A little bit of tribal, nothing landing, but Sparty doing a good job using that mobility to get out of there and not get committed to anything he doesn't want to be a part of here. Commitment issues, Lethal. As Mega picked up, Heavy will go to Razy, and the hunt must be on. A minute 10 before Sparty puts up this one and leaves Chat's predictions in shambles. A lot of channel points could be lost here. Only one minute left for Razy Ooh. to make a make some kind of comeback but the problem is for we the items aren't segregated so Razy can't contest both of them can he he can just keep his distance and then keep going for the next one but Sparty's only on 45 HP Razy's still looking to get that frag he's running out of time 45 HP and the health bubbles have not appeared he needs to go for this mega he's going to go for it but at some stage Razy's got to give up one of his items in order to take down Sparty Wow, that pineapple around the corner was so good from Razy, but 30 seconds left, two frags. Sparty is just playing the slip and slide game. Can Razy read it right, but he can't jump over the jump pad, which is unfortunate. Sends him flying to the skies. Here's the chase. He needs to get this frag soon, and Sparty's staying alive. I can't believe it's 15 seconds left, 35 HP. If he wants to take him down now, he needs to go for him on the spawn. 15 HP, the screams are coming up from the Strog on so many, numerous times. Would he about to take him in? Yes, he does. Oh, that was a, a, an absolutely crazy cat and mouse chase. But Sparty does bring back the scoreline. One all in the series. And Razy, you know, he's going to be thinking question marks now because Sparty also took him down in his own map choice. It's just a really, really good map from Sparty. Uh, that's exactly what you want, of course. Uh, it wasn't really the pixel perfect plays, but he did enough. And I think the trades were really, really important. It was, a, it was a rough start. This was like the opposite of Ruins. Sparty had the perfect start on Ruins, couldn't really make it happen, had a bit of a rough start on Deep Embrace, but came back, stabilized, did exactly what he needed to against Razy and the Keel, and uh, he literally <laughs> just looked Chad in the eye and said, you're all ruined because of me, and I want you to remember the name as he power squats his way to a map victory and sends us into number three as the decider for the series. So he will indeed, maybe, you know, that's the route Sparty needs to take. He needs to go AFK for 20 seconds, give himself a massive disadvantage and come back. It seems to be the routine he needs to go for in order to make a comeback against Razy. But very good. You know, it wasn't the greatest starts in terms of the performance from Sparty in the series, but a great map too. I can't believe how many times he got away from, you know, that near-death experience. 
constant screams from the Strog. And, you know, Razor must be thinking, you know, you know, what have I got to do here in order to, you know, not only chase him down and do as many flanks as possible, but the amount of pineapples that Sparty absorbed and took in the process, like, and so many different occasions in that super shorty area and going for that mega as well. But like I said, though, the item segregation was what made it happen because the timings were in sync. Razor couldn't go for both items, keep map control and also keep Sparty on his toast the entire time. At some stage, he had to give up one of the items, but Sparty could use those items constantly during the final 45 seconds in order to keep that um, stack to a certain point where, you know, Razor's had to spend more time trying to chase him down. So good stuff from him, as you can see, 50% rail for Sparty and 41% LG, great stuff from him. But Razor's gonna be looking to see if he can take him down on map number three in this series, because this is not the start or the debut stage he would like in order to go through into the EG re sorry, the EU region. I mean, the, the rail in the LG, as we saw, was uh, fantastic, but the items really told the tale there too. As we saw in the highlights, Sparty living with like 10 HP, sometimes 4 HP, and those items came up big as he had complete map control out uh, grabbing, you know, heavy lights as well as the Mega from Razy. So really, really well done from Sparty. I would say he's not really well known for his item control necessarily, but on that map, it was really, really beautifully done. And so again, we're going to a map number three as the decider. It's going to be Ranger versus Galena on Vale. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take a peek at the uh, chat predictions. Why not? Since everyone has to be completely second guessing themselves right now after, <laughs> after the performance Sparty just put up. And yeah, you're going to put some respect on his name. 30% for Sparty. Uh, uh, still not super great, but uh, way better than the first two. What was it before? I think the first map was like 7 or 6%. The second one was like solid, 13. Solid 6, 7 into like 13. So he's <laughs> he's climbing. The Sparty stock is to the moon right now, chat. So we'll see. We'll see if he could put the uh, the finisher on this. Going up against a Galena on Vale might be a little difficult. Actually, yeah, he has the Galena. So never mind. I checked my notes because I write <laughs> things down sometimes. So Sparty's on the Galena. Razy has the Dire Orb and the Ranger in hand. And again, I think I mentioned it before. It's all about if he can erect those totems as quick as he can and get oh. that overstack so he could just be a complete pest against Razy. But we're live. Map number three. What a way to start week three. The cat are taking advantage of the dip. So we'll see if that will play well into their hands. This Sparty does have a good start, has the height advantage, is just waiting for that heavy to respawn in the next 15 seconds. But no totems for him as of yet. Good try bot though. Nice little 37, but he's retaliated with that rail, faking the orb, but also doesn't have a 25. So good little bits of damage here and there from Sparty. Tries to stop him from going for that heavy, but not by any means. Oh, good LG as well. Just taking Razy all the way down, but he actually responds with a rail. Oh, that was so close. I thought Razy was going to go for a second rail there, but Razy was like, no, I'm not having any more. I'm just going to back away, try and restack if possible. But look at the stack of Sparty now. He didn't even take out the Mega, you know, during the process of that fight, and it's just waiting for that Mega to try and waste a little bit more time. But the items are still segregated enough for Sparty to go for it here. Nice little bit of damage from him. But now Razy needs to try and get away if he can and he takes a lot more damage from that nice trial ball while Sparty picks up the heavy. So Sparty with a good stack now and he should know the Dire Orb is gone as Razy used that as a bit of a Hail Mary to distract and make sure he got out of there without taking more damage. And the tribal just waiting right there for Razy to go up the jump pad. Mega is going to be up shortly. Sparty knows he's going to plant that totem. Maybe try and do a little hunting before he picks it up as he does have the time. Here's the jump pad, but the tribal will it reach? Will he get the damage he wants? Razy with a really good jump rail there as he paths a little bit uh, more obscure than usual, catching Sparty off guard, at least for the time being. But Sparty, knowing that the Mega is up, can pick and choose his items and maybe even get back to both. And this, again, huge item control from Sparty complete dominance on the map and it's really really uh refreshing to see because sparty isn't really known for that as so much no he's not but good direct from sparty look and see if he can flank him down from rockets but razy has to portal through as he's now going to try and get back towards the rail he's been i think he's realized that sparty isn't looking to push too deep into that rail area he knows that he has a little bit of time he can waste picking up the light and getting some health bubbles to restack but Sparty's had a huge stack for a while now. Hasn't he done too much with it as of yet? It's done a fair amount of damage, but it's just not managed to clean up Razy. But Razy's going to be the one of the advantage. It's going to all be in good rocket from Razy. As Razy was on the back foot for such a long time, didn't have any items for a while, but now Razy's looking much better. Two for two. Rail would he go for the third? He's going to clean with the LG just in case. But Sparty actually 
retaliate so 39 hp gonna pick up the totem just in case just safe and that heavy has come up Razor will be going for that and Sparty's looking to go for that mega good rail as he does concede the heavy but rail again with the third and he goes three for three and there's a mega for his efforts as Sparty takes the lead two to one almost getting that toe shot rail there that would have been very very huge as the dire orb sh is going to be back in Razor's pocket shortly and Sparty maintaining the high ground Heavy's gonna be the next item played for. Razy just comes in flying through the telly and Sparty takes out Sparty. Completely caught off guard by that push. Yeah, you can tell from his weapon selection that he still had to try bolt out. Absolutely was not prepared for, sorry, prepared for it in the slightest. Still though, Sparty just holding that mega area on the light side with that LG. With Razy still playing peekaboo with the rockets. Good first rocket, good rail to retaliate. But it's just a little bit too late as Sparty now again takes another rail to his name. Still, though, it's not available yet. He will be, though. 10 HP left. He's looking to see if he can burn the heavy, but actually may be able to get away with it, depending on how Razy's going to be that counter aggressive. Orbs up to the top, oh. cleans him with the rocket. Nicely done. Safe. Oh, and as I say that though, the rocket comes in good direct, another rocket there, and good cleanup again from Razy, as he's now up three to one in terms of map score as well. And we'll see if Razy's gonna try and be aggressive around that light side. Razy's slowly starting to pull away here. Sparty can't get the refrag that he wants. Razy hanging by a thread, able to uh, chain together some major items now. Sparty not hitting the rails that he needs. Three for six right now in comparison to Razy's nine for 16 as the Rockets though, really painting a bad, bad picture for Sparty here as he's just taking so much damage. Just have a pocket totem. There are some rails again. Can he go three for three? Almost threads that needle, but Razy drops down and eats another one for free. Spots Ray, uh, Sparty a free rail. Totem in hand, this should be his heavy. And now's the opportunity to chase and hunt down this frag. And he's gonna drop down with the lightning. Razy around the corner. Can't can't get any exit damage on the way out. So clean kill for Sparty. And if he could read this right, he could tie it up here as Razy spawns in with really nothing and no items to play off of. There's the catch with the LG. Razy does have Dire Orb, takes a lot of damage to Sparty, but does he finish? He does, and now he can make his way back to the Mega. Lethal, we got a ball game. We certainly have indeed. I think a great play from Sparty there. Not only was he holding such a great angle, but he was contesting the Rockets. He knew that at some point, Razy's eventually oh, no. gonna go for it, but Good play from Sparty, picks up the heavy as well, and look at the stack advantage. Anything Sparty needs to do now is that if he gets the items perfectly in terms of segregation and then picks them up, he needs to go straight for Razy and don't worry about map control as much. And you saw earlier on he had full map control, had the items, but couldn't really do much with it. Did a huge chunk of damage, but Razy was just going back to that rail room every single time. So it needs to be just a little bit quicker and just speed up the tempo in order to counteract what Razy is up to when he's in a passive position. But good first, Rocket with that direct, but good return. Rail, the orb did so much wow. damage, and Razy brings it back, picks up the heavy as well, and has tied things up with four minutes left. Razy's rail, just the separator in this one, it feels as though, especially the, with the dire orb as the finisher to get up close and personal. Tied at four, and Sparty's got to be a little disheartened after hitting such a big initial rocket and still having Razy turn that around in his favor. Razy, don't. Still trying to keep him back with the LG. Did a nice damage with the rocket. Surely it's going to be a clean up. Oh, no. it doesn't matter. Sparty did commit suicide. Oh, good spawn rail as well. Is he going to risk going for the heavy? Oh, he was a little bit tempted. He just wants to burn it, really. Yeah, I can understand that perfectly. Two frags up. It's going straight in for the clean kill, but good rail there from Sparty. Oh, that second one's going to be so important, but Razy returns with one of his own. He's so, so weak. Still available as well. Needs to be a little bit more cautious as he does decide to orb was it tell you just in case but realizes that he's not there we'll pick up the light we'll pick up the mega still has a few minutes though 40 as it was a good rocket there from sparty but it's gonna take a huge amount of damage before maybe even get taken down Razy left on 30 Ooh. hp but sparty good return rocket good prediction there he needs to try and get back to one of his totems though so he's extremely weak and he does have that overstack but he needs to utilize it down one that last rocket was huge as he was hanging by a thread that kept him in this game and the face check totem for Razy. but right after that another pocket totem to get the overstack right back so good positioning here from sparty he should be able to get this mega making sure that Razy doesn't push through for damage, but the Dire Orb's gonna be back. And that's been just such a pest for Sparty here. If Razy hits this initial damage, he's gonna go in, he's gonna steal away the heavy. He's gonna 
potentially add to his lead, and there it is on the play, but he actually drops down. Heavy goes to Sparty. It has an opportunity here as stacks are even. We look at Sparty's ammo management as well. He had no rockets, so he had to rain down tribots instead. But it's still got the overstack, like you mentioned earlier, and it's gonna have another another totem in his back of pocket. Sorry, back pocket shortly as Razy's still up top waiting for that mega and has backed away waiting for him to respawn again he's had the try for most of the majority of the last 30 seconds finally gets finished up and taken down 91 hp but razor though still on his default stack looking to see how he can now progress further or try to even back away from sparty because sparty does have the stack advantage good first rail and a good way to make sparty not even retaliate in any way yeah, it's just really, really solid rails from Razy here. Sparty, a minute 30 to get two frags. Razy doing a good job of keeping distance and getting up close when he wants to. There's the Dire Orb to try and get past that rocket. Rail will miss. There's the overstack. Big rail up oh. close, and Razy picks him out of the sky as Sparty cannot finish it, and that may be the straw that breaks him in half. Lethal. Crazy's still really, really weak, but again, he's chaining together these rails on his way out, making it so taxing on Sparty. Good rockets. Can he finish? He needs to. There's the tickle. Two frags in one minute. Do you believe in a thing called love? I do, mate. I really do. And you can see, still has the overstack. But he hasn't got much time. He's only got 45 seconds. So a quick frag here. I'm going to spawn there. He should be okay. Ooh, he took a huge amount of damage, and that was a great read. You absolutely spawn. And now he has another totem. Just needs to go for it here, really. As now as we go oh, wow. on through, take some damage from that totem. And look, though, Razy's still doing a good job just keeping his distance, making sure that he's going to keep Sparty guessing with 25 seconds left. So push it on food, see if he can try and clean him up if he can. If he's, he's rolling down into that LG, 24 HP. Got a try bolt again. Hasn't got any rocket ammo once more. And Razy cleans him up for you with 15 seconds left. It's all said and done. It's just heartbreaking there. Sparty felt the pressure dropped onto the LG. That's essentially free for Razy. We've seen him float players before. Does it again, and he's able to skirt away with this one. 8-5 to five on Bale to take the set 2-1, but hats off to Sparty. I think he surprised a lot of people, especially on map number 2. Very, very close set. Razy able to uh, claim it 2-1. to one. Yeah, 58% rail from Razy. Just looking at the items as well. 22 items for Sparty. 13 for Razy. Yeah, Razy was on the back for a lot during those first few minutes. But then again, Sparty held map control so, so well. It was just bad timing with the fact that by the time, you know, Razy goes and restacks back in the rail area, like, it's the same time that Sparty has to go for the items. If the items had another 10 or 15 seconds before they spawn, then yeah, you know, Sparty could have gone for the push. Makes perfect sense. Again, another series which Sparty was so, so close to actually being able to bag but just fell short on the final map. I do feel sorry for Sparty. Like I said, he's playing really well this stage, just not enough to close out some of his matches. Yeah, really unfortunate. And uh, the Dire War was a big factor here. You kind of get sometimes in these rail battles, right? Where you're like, okay, I could take another rail and then I'll get away and I'll get items. But you forget that Ranger can just Dire Orb in, closing the gap almost immediately and finishing the kill. So you have to be a little more careful when you take those rail on rail battles and how, much, how many rails you actually take. And we saw Razy just not afraid to take Dire Orbs after hitting the initial rail or two. And just rockets were sublime from Razy as well. And Sparty's shaking his head. He knows that he was so close to taking down the Goliath that is Razy, but Razy comes out on top yet again, eight to five. So we take a look at the stats. But again, I mean, the items were in favor of Sparty. He's doing a good job of prioritizing items, playing around those. It's just the damage output from Razy. The defensive rails and rockets were just really, really on point for that last map. Yeah, the only thing I can say, I kind of feel like in that first map of the series, Razy was kind of de-rusting in terms of like tournament matches because it's been like a few weeks, like I already mentioned earlier. I mean, he just got better and better as the series progressed on. That last map, you know, compared to the rails he was hitting in that first map to the last one, like 59%, it's just ridiculous. It's so difficult, even though Veil is a small map, it's the angles you have to try and hit. And he was hitting like most of those like, on so many occasions and just clutched up. It's just a real shame that Sparty, again, another series he could have potentially won, but just fell short. Yep, and uh, Lethal, with that, that ties up the first series of the day, and we're one-fourth of the way through. I'm exhausted. It's been a really long day. <laughs> oh, no. But uh, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back, and it's going to be Sib versus Zenaku, so don't go anywhere. we got a lot more Quake to play. We'll be back shortly. <laughs> 